It's Jagni's fort. Crows about helping you take apart all the nests and picking the world clean for the Jagni tribe. Says you'll see each other later. Says the sound from the mini metal can drive you crazy. Says you should take it easy. Offers you extraordinary prices for extraordinary things. Points out they just restocked, so you should be able to find something you like here. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurred.
time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long-lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Then he wants you to know that if you find yourself going through bad times, you should just keep going. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Goop says some choose to be lonely because no one understands what they're going through. If that's you, he'll try to help you if you let him. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. And he'll be honored. He says, that wasn't too bad, was it? He says a feeling that you're going to drown is a great reminder of the need to learn how to swim. Oh. But you need practice, lots of practice. Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. Oh. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. You can never try too hard. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. The dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. You should know, practice makes perfect. You have to keep working on it if you want to be good at it. She'll see you at the village square. She'll be waiting for you. There will be a surprise for you at the end, too. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. His only interest when creating is that what he comes up with is actually useful. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on.
He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. He wonders what usefulness you found. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He appreciates those able to deliver a sharp remark. He understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. He thinks mastering the six weapon styles of Wang Fu is more than enough for anyone. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. That's all she's ever asked of you, that you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Then start by meeting her on the village square and take it from there. She knows you're a free spirit, always on the move, like the wind. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. He says you're right. Nobody can tell him what he can and can't do, and that includes you.
She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She's there for all disciples. That's her commitment as Sifu. And when she needs them, they're there for her and each other. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. Andro? Kalino? She suggests that you forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them more. Here's someone close to heart. Doing what he does best? Seeing you always puts a smile on your Popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. He heard you helped Gizmo clean up. He's proud of you. He asks if you could help him, too, before you leave for training. He'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. He's curious to see what you found. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bionucleus pool and refresh his DNA. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Says at least dirty hands are proof that you tried, and that counts. That you failed this time doesn't mean you can't succeed the next. He says it's about time you learned how, and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. Why add food layer higher? The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. Agrees. At least that way it'll never go out of style. You should take it with you. Wear it to practice. He's sure your Muma will forgive you for not wearing the traditional outfit. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this.
Your Mooma says it's about time you got here. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. That's a good attitude as long as you keep learning. Your Mooma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. It's Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. It's you should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Says he's always thought so well of you, just like her. Catchy. Your Mooma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. Figuring that out is half the fun. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. Says it's not a record keeper, more like a companion. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder, it's been a long day. She's so happy you made the most of it. Rest, and you'll find strength for tomorrow. <sighs> Nothing could stop Luka Lupin from setting the world on fire. Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. He wants to destroy her. The time to fight is coming whether she's ready for it or not. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. 
She loves how brave you are, but she can't be worrying about you while she fights. This is her fight. Here it comes, the past coming to haunt the present. You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Let's see.
The tribe's caught a fluffy hulk. Better watch out, it's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulk's on the loose. flesh wound. It was harder than expected to take down the Fluff Hulk. They've received news a Ronin joined the tribe's ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. A group of Jagni warriors are already waiting for you at Myriad's Vespidut outpost. You should hurry there and help them storm the outpost. Talitina Nupsunui. Mercy is for the weak. The Jagni tribe seek no one's sympathy. Better not keep the war party waiting.
Toxanol was something called a corporate juggernaut, and our world still bears the marks of the massive ecological catastrophes they inflicted upon the land. The apocalypse they caused was the end of days for their world. But for us, it was simply a beginning. Look, an emergency box from the old days, when you needed to pack a- Wow, bet that nut makes a tight fist. feels like greeting an old friend. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? that. Heroes inspire in a way nothing else can. A flush stool from the... Seems like the tighteners on the piping need to be unturned correctly to drain the flush stool. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's what you could call a wet disaster. You need to unturn the pipe tightness to drain the flush stool. That's the kind of trouble you really want to wash away. This corner of the world is called Bricktown. Something strange could happen to you. That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old toxinol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxinol Corporation made this place and then just threw it away when they were done with it. Well, small ones. Places like this were cheap back in those days and there was plenty of space get done with one place, you just build another. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. Just hope it's not buried. It's getting lighter out. Better than a bare head. Look good in that.
Never thought I'd see a clothes soak. You need to get the pegs lined up to get the clothes soaker rolling. Just a few moves left. Make them count. That spiralled out of control. You need to turn the pegs in sync. You really put a spin on it. It's a new day to you. Might as well enjoy it. Let's... Build something. Let's see. Would you look at that? Looks like the Fry Sparkers knobs need to be in sync if you want to get the hardware working. It's a fry sparker mindset. Boom, you got something. It's not exactly what you wanted, but you got it right away. The best stories are about heroes. This is such a story.
you have hours stretching before you. It's Peekaboo Park. Young ones love this sort of place. Steeled punch. This one seems to be in good spirits, despite being left here for dead. Has heard that you have a sense of compassion and trusts it's in your nature to help those in need. Asks you to do the right thing for the sake of your conscience. It's only through your inner conflict you're held accountable for your actions. Is grateful you chose that. You can't be good without doing good for others. Fan that flame! Wait, no! Uh, bright light blinds! It's, it's dangerous! I've got all the cold sick burns you need, Dark. Oh, do you have to insult me over this? I don't have to. But I want to. That's a myriad tribe outpost.
them defeat. The Vespidat outpost, long-time home of the Myriad tribe. Such a bright day to wander around in. If you care about the Tree of Life, you need to find the Hoof Puff and stop it. Understands you have. Let's see.